All right, this is Trevor Nordland. Uh, this is going to be my benefit cost analysis uh, for my policy. Uh, the policy I chose to implement was all homes in Minnehaha County need to be converted to solar energy. Um, now, like I said, it's Minnehaha County, so it's going to be a county level project. Uh, we're just going to be looking at residential homes, uh, and this is going to be a 25 year long uh, policy implementation. We'll get to why. Um, it's going to be 25 years here when we start talking about uh, roof replacements and solar tiles. Um, some decisions we need to make up front is when you do solar energy, you can either choose to tie in uh, to the grid or do a power bank or there's even a combination of both. We're going to stick with the combination of both. We want to stay connected to the power grid um, and this is going to give us benefits later on, which I'll cover. Um, but we still get the benefit of having the power bank and energy storage. The other choice we have is putting modules on top of the roof um, or doing a full solar roof, which is you no longer have uh, shingles, clay, asphalt. Uh, you have solar tiles. Um, and we're going to stick with the solar tiles, and you'll see why. Uh, the company that we're going to stick... Uh, with is Tesla and the reason is they are the only one in the industry right now that offers uh, those, soling, those solar tiles um, as other people have tried and failed Tesla has been one of the only ones to implement it um, and be semi successful with it so we're going to stick with their costs and what they've got uh, to offer the market. Some stats that we need to know um, up front as well is there are 70,140 occupied housing units. Uh, there's actually more housing units in Minnehaha, but uh, there's only 70,000 that are occupied. Uh, now, 3,040 of those occupied housing units are considered mobile homes. We're not going to be looking at those because um, those would be taking modules instead of solar tiles, and we would just want to take a look at the solar tiles. Uh, 13,724 of those housing units are already heated with electricity. They're not heated from gas. Um, excuse me. And 44 of those 70,000 are already uh, running on solar energy. So we're not going to include those in our calculations either. Sorry. Uh, our median home value in Minnehaha is $155,400. And the median spent on electricity in our county is $1,273 and some cents. Now, all of these stats came from the U.S. Census Bureau. Uh, Lori likes it when we uh, cite our sources on the slides as we go, so I made sure to do that for her. Uh, some other base numbers that we need um, to know is that cost of electricity. Now, I know this is the median, so that's what we're going to stick with is that median. Here's how I got to that $1,273.61 a year. Um, the electric company charges $0.10, cents, um, just over $0.10 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, you're going to hear me say that a few times. That's just how they measure energy um, of how much electricity you are pulling from the grid. The average home in the county uses 980 kilowatt hours uh, per month. Now that comes out to be hundred and six dollars and some cents and then we get our final annual number of what we're being charged for electricity. The cost of heat um, which came from Manta.com in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Minnehaha County is six hundred and thirty dollars and some cents a year. Uh, the average replacement cost of a roof ranges anywhere from 8000 to, if you've got a very high-end roof with a steep slope, you could pay all the way up to fifteen dollars to $20,000 uh, to have your roof replaced. We're going to stick with a conservative number in our area for this county. Um, 10000 is actually a high number uh, for our county, but it works in our calculations, um, and it also... Uh, give us a good basis to go from. So the other thing we need to keep in mind is the median housing was $155,400. Our median income is $42,118. Uh, this will be important when it comes back to our costs of uh, what it looks like to converting these homes to solar. So 
let's go ahead and jump in, start looking at some numbers here. So a solar roof from Tesla is $35,500 um, to install. And that's start to finish, it's gonna cost you that much, okay? And that's just an about number. Um, you know, it'll depend on the size of your roof and the slope and all the, all the uh, square footage that it takes up. But uh, what we wanna keep in mind here um, is that 35.5 uh, is gonna last us for 30 years. A traditional roof lasts for 20 years. So the Tesla roof, is guaranteed for 30 years. It's gonna last 10 years longer than a traditional roof. So when we're doing our calculations, you're gonna see I've added that in. I've taken that 10 years into account in our annual pay. Um, the other thing that we need to keep in mind here, I'm gonna come back to the environmental impact side of it because there's a few things I wanna say there, um, is the maintenance of upkeeping these solar tiles. Uh, you know, they can't be covered in snow. They run hot because there's not a lot of ventilation on the backside. So that's going to help, uh, especially in the Midwest here when we get snow, things like that. Uh, they're going to melt that snow pretty quickly. But if we get a ton of snow dumped on us and they don't have time to melt and they, they cool down, um, you're going to have to have a cleaning service come out and clean the snow off your roof. Now, there isn't a company doing this right now just simply because solar roofs aren't popular enough, but if we implemented this policy in Minnehaha, um, I'd start a business uh, doing that, and I'd, I'd say I'd charge about $100 per cleaning. Um, the other thing that we got to pay attention to with these solar tiles um, is dust and leaves and gunk that are going to get uh, dumped on top of there that um, need to be cleaned off occasionally. So. Uh, I'm saying you're going to do about five cleanings a year. Um, it's going to be, you know, about um, 500 bucks a year. We'll, we'll get to the full cost of the 30-year payout. Um, now, these roofs are guaranteed for 30 years, so you're probably not going to have to pay a replacement cost for um, the tiles. The tiles come in uh, sets of 14. It's 14 tiles in one unit. Um, and then they have dummy tiles to fill in the gaps and things like that. Um, but it's $5,000 to replace a 14 unit segment. Um, the other thing that we're gonna need to keep in mind here is not all homes run on electric. A lot of homes heat with gas. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to convert these homes over to electricity. Now the average cost to do that um, was about, about 10 grand, um, but that didn't take into account any of the duct work that would needed to be done um, to get your home uh, up to par uh, for that. So I so I counted in an extra cost um, of getting the duct work done of $1,500, uh, which is a one-time cost. Once it's converted over to electric, um, you won't have to do it again. There's not a lot of maintenance and upkeep with that. Um, so 11.5, it's a one-time cost. Oh, the other cost I was going to talk about here is the environmental impact. Uh, we do have to take these old shingles off because we're going to put new shingles on. And whatever happens uh, with those shingles is going to affect our environment and affect uh, the ambient surroundings. Okay, um, If you have asphalt tiles, they can be recycled. Um, what they do is they basically they melt them down, they can remake more shingles with it, um, but you're going to have thousands and thousands of pounds of asphalt shingles that are going to be coming off of these roofs if we implement this policy, um, which is hard to quantify, um, you know, but a pack of shingles is 50 pounds and, um, you know, one, one roof might take you know, any, anywhere from 15 to 20 packs. Um, so you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of pounds of shingles to deal with. Um, and what we choose to do with those and how we choose to handle them will affect our costs. Uh, but again, very, very hard to quantify, but something that should be kept in mind. The other cost that we're gonna incur uh, since we're gonna run from the grid and do a power bank is uh, Tesla's home wall, or no, Tesla's power wall. Uh, which is their the name of their battery pack. Excuse me, my dog is going crazy. Um, 
So this power wall for one unit costs sixty two hundred dollars. For two units, it's eleven thousand seven hundred. Um, and I'm gonna again, I'm gonna be conservative with my numbers here in this analysis. Um, we're going to say you want two. We're going to put two in the basement uh, the, to store energy or in the garage to charge your car. And uh, that's $11,700. Uh, but there's a few things that come with the power bank. There's a few benefits that come with that besides just the eleven seven, And that is uh, any installation costs and all of that is included there. Um, another thing that is extremely hard to quantify uh, is the enforcement costs of making sure you convert your home over to these solar tiles. Uh, you're going to have to have somebody in a squad car driving around. You're going to have to have somebody uh, looking at roofs saying, okay, yeah, that's not solar tiles, that's asphalt. So you're going to need a housing expert and hire one of those and pay them. Uh, there's a lot of different enforcements that are going to have to happen. Um, you know, any fines that you got to give out and incur occur uh, because of that. Uh, the other thing that we're going to see as a cost here is remember the median income in Minnehaha was one fifty five four hundred. Well, or that's the uh, the median house cost is one fifty five four hundred. The median income uh, was about forty three thousand. So, what we need to keep in mind is if we convert these homes to solar, that's going to increase the value of your home. Now, that's both a benefit and a cost. And the reason it's a cost here is because for a first time home buyer, it's going to be harder for them to get into a home and take them longer to purchase their first home uh, because it is more expensive. So uh, you're not going to have as young of people going out and buying homes, um, let alone homes with uh, asphalt shingles because they're then going to be forced to uh, pay some big upfront costs to get this solar tile put on. Um, but it also goes the other way. Um, some of the other benefits that we're going to see is our electric cost. Since you're generating your own electricity, you're not going to need to pay that electric bill of twelve seventy three dollars a year. Uh, the other cost that we're going to see, or the other uh, benefit we're going to see is our heat. Uh, we convert our homes over to uh, electric heat, and we're going to be bypassing that $630 of gas heat and we're generating our own power. So that's going to be money we're saving every single year. Uh, another cool part of being tied into the grid is any of your excess energy that you produce, uh, the energy company in town, the electric company in town, will actually buy that energy back from you. So they sell it for just over 10 cents a kilowatt hour, and they will buy it back from you for just over 8 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, but the other cool part about that is if they're buying the energy from you at eight cents, they will sell it back to you at the exact same cost uh, when you need it. So if something does go go wrong um, and you need to start pulling energy back out of the grid, the energy company will sell you uh, your energy back basically um, all the way up to the point where um, However much you gave them, that's what they'll sell you back, and then they'll start charging you that $0.10 cents a kilowatt hour. Um, the other part of this that's going to be a big benefit is the ambient quality. Uh, since we're not running our homes are on gas, we're not burning that gas, therefore it's not being released into the environment. It's all electric. So the energy that we're going to see released into the ambient env uh, environment is heat because that's what happens with electricity, it gets hot. So we're going to be releasing heat. Well, heat actually dissipates, okay? It's not a cumulative pollutant. So once it's exposed into the environment, uh, that heat dissipates and it's gone. Now you can get all scientific and energy never disappears, never created, blah, 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 blah. but it's a non-cumulative cumulative pollutant. Um, so you're really, really going to save um, on your carbon outputs and other things um, that again are extremely hard to quantify and I had a really tough time um, trying to find some concrete costs for that, um, some concrete numbers, uh, but it is something that needs to be kept in mind, uh, especially if you're living um, you know, in, in a valley or something, you know, something like that where the pollution is really high. If you were to convert everything over to solar, uh, you would see a big 
uh, abatement in that uh, that environment. Um, and actually, converting over could be considered your abatement cost. Um, so the other thing that we're going to see is, remember the value of your home being a cost? Well, it can also be a benefit um, because you're increasing your equity in the home. Um, so as you invest more money into your solar, uh, the value of your home is also going to increase because it's generating uh, wealth. It's, I mean, it's, it's making an income. Um, but I, I mean, you're still going to lose money on it, uh, but just we'll get there. We'll get, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, the other thing that we're going to see is a social responsibility, right? You're going to have a mental peace of mind uh, about the environment and about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Um, and with the power banks, you're also going to have a peace of mind about power, power outages, uh, which is a scary thing for us here in the Midwest in the winter. If the power goes out for any more than really eight hours, we really start to feel the temperature change in our homes. Uh, so we need to keep in mind that if we have a power bank, uh, when that grid goes down, instead of relying on the grid to get us energy, we're going to rely on that power bank. Um, and Tesla's power bank actually stores enough energy to power your home for seven days. Uh, without pulling any more energy from your solar tiles. So if your solar tiles are damaged or anything like that, you can still uh, run your home for seven days. And hopefully they can have it fixed within that seven days and you have nothing to worry about. So there's a big peace of mind there. Uh, the other part of this that you know is just kind of fun to think about and look at is uh, the jobs that this could create. Um, the jobs that this could make. I remember remember I said you're going to have these maintenance costs of cleaning. Well, somebody needs to have the cleaning business. And if every home in Minnehaha needs to have cleaning five times a year, um, you're making a hundred bucks a pop. You know, you're, you're going to be able to scale up a small business pretty quickly uh, to be able to make some profits, uh, which will help to boost the local economy. So here's our comparisons. We've now we've taken a look at some of the costs and some really concrete costs um, that we can quantify with a little bit of math and a lot of research. Um, we know that a replacement roof, okay, a traditional roof lasts for 20 years. Well, a solar roof lasts for 30 years. So here's our cost without a solar roof. If you were just to do a traditional roof replacement, this is the cost you're going to incur. Uh, now the reason our replacement roof is 15 grand here is because we need to make it last for 30 years. We need to figure out what is our cost of owning a traditional roof for 30 years. Um, so it costs you 1.5 because um, remember 20 years and 20 divided by 2 is 10 and 20 and 10 is 30 so it's it's one and a half. So we take that 10,000 by one and a half we get 15 grand. Um, our electric, that's going to stay the same throughout. You're going to see that cost um, with the solar. You, you'll, see, you'll see it again here on the next slide. Uh, but the, the cost in, uh, of electric and heat are going to stay the same um, because those are averages. But keep in mind our total here. Our total is 72148 Okay. Here's our comparisons with a solar roof. Now, uh, again, 30 years, because that's how long the solar roof is guaranteed for. A replacement roof uh, with the solar tiles is $35,500. It's over twice the amount of a traditional roof, so it's expensive up front. It is expensive up front, which scares a lot of people away. Uh, now we're seeing we're gonna, you're going to have two replacement tiles over 30 years, and that's because these tiles are designed to be darn near indestructible. And with the 30-year guarantee, you're probably not going to have to pay for any of them. Um, but like I said, we're going to be conservative. Say something happens, Tesla won't cover it. You got to pay for two of them. Um, that's going to cost you about 10 grand. Okay. The other power bank that we're going to be looking at. Remember, I said we were going to do two power banks. Uh, so we got 11.7 there. Our maintenance five times a year, 100 bucks cleaning over 30 years is 15 grand. Um, and you have to convert your heat uh, over to electric. So and that's a one-time thing, cost you about 11.5. So our total cost of putting on a solar roof um, and converting everything over and maintaining it uh, is going to be about 88.700, okay? Uh, which is significantly more than this 17.2, okay? It's about $16,000 more. 
Um, but what's cool about the solar roof that Tesla offers is you're going to cut your electric bill. So that $38,283 or $238, you're not going to have to pay anymore. Okay. Your heat, because we converted your heat over uh, to electric, you're going to be saving $18,000. $910. And the only reason I have the heat electric conversion in there um, is because it cost eleven five to do and you're going to save eighteen nine over 30 years. Um, so that's that's a difference of, of uh, just over seven grand there. So it looks like seven four. Um, so um, that's why that's in there. The other cool thing is because we have a power bank and we're tied into the grid, we, the grid, we have uh, that buyback option um, of eight cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, we generate an average, this system generates an average of 1,000 kilowatt hours per month. Now remember, we're using 980, so we have a surplus of 20 kilowatt hours a month, uh, which amounts to 240 a year um, at eight cents times it by 30 years the electric company is going to pay us 576 dollars um, so we have a benefit of 57,724 dollars um, and over the course of 30 years we have a loss of 30,975 now that's <laughs> that loss looks bad but remember how much it cost to just have a traditional roof. The cost of a traditional roof over 30 years is over $70,000, where the cost of a solar roof over 30 years is 30 grand, almost 31. So we have a total savings. If you did a solar roof in the long run, you have a total savings of $41,000, which is significantly, significantly more than if you were to just do a short run, 20 year traditional roof. So this is, uh, this is something we need to keep in mind. Uh, it's very appealing to do the short run asphalt roof um, because it looks cheaper, there's smaller upfront costs, but it's going to cost you an extra $41,173.60 over the next 30 years. Um, so something we need to keep in mind, the other th questions you know we need to ask is who's going to pay for it? Is, are you, the homeowner, going to pay for it? Because um, I can tell you what, I don't, I don't have 88 grand sitting around to invest into a solar roof. Um, but man, I sure would like to save 40. So if there was a way we could um, get this solar roof out to the consumer, um, you know, maybe on a payment plan or, or some type of loan program or, or get it to um, you know, almost talk with your mortgage and co-mingle into that. Um, I think this is a, is a policy that, uh, we could make work and, uh, we could actually see, uh, some significant savings, um, in Minnehaha in their, in their pockets and in those, um, emission standards. But that's all I've got for you. Thanks for listening. Oh, here's my references, sorry. Forgot to show those.